it's I think a really difficult moment to to do this sort of thing to put all these 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 things that have meant so much to me on the wall and have them in in a public public eye things that come from my my heart and my 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 feeling is that it's it's you know no one's ever going to really understand what I what I want to do with these things or what they what they mean to me because they're all very personal emotional experiences My parents are both German and they moved to Australia in 1972 and I was born in uh, Melbourne, Australia in a place called Moorabbin, which is a suburb, I guess, of, of uh, Melbourne. Okay, so thanks everyone for coming. Um, I hope you enjoy the show and enjoy the, the Prosecco. Um, <laughs> And I'm not going to give a speech or anything, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's, that's taken the time to come. I really liked the paintings from Berlin. Um, I thought they were really evocative and um, beautiful, strong colours that are washed together, really bold. Um, there's one, I think it's of Berlin, with the with a tram uh, track or a train track that's moving down the middle of the street. And for me, that thing, that's just a perspective that I like, that you're actually on the tram track in the middle of the road and you see the street ahead of you. I think it's called a dream, uh, dream walk in Berlin or something like that. Berlin was my, my dream to come to Europe. It was my dream to stay in Berlin and it didn't happen. But um, this is an important series of work in terms of the fact that I, I love the place and I like being there. Also because I, I had this, this expectation that I would be in Berlin. So it was an important place and um, time for me. The title of it, uh, Memoirs of a Journey from of Japan to Germany, I think it ref it's reflected very much in these pictures. Some people have uh, commented that there's a lot of evening pictures here, you know, they kind of late night scene. I think they're, they're very dark and, uh, and very blurry. I think, I think I would love to have a word with the artist to know what he has to say about it. Uh, for me, I, I like the atmosphere that's portrayed it's very clear and it's very uh, very direct and very emotive and as well there's very few there's a, occasional scenes with people in it but it's mainly just scenes and street scenes cityscapes which for me are very moving and I do like them a lot It's a long, long story, but I, I just experimented with different types of painting, but then I found that um, I was interested in expressionism and existential philosophy, and I wanted to somehow sort of combine the two things together because I thought there's similarities. I think Rob works very concentrated in a small space. It surprised me at first. Each painting is only about this big, 
but the the work and the the detail in each of the paintings is um, fascinating. You can really look at each painting for a while and get something out of it. I don't. I don't think they're they're very ac accessible, uh, because I think when one has to, one has to uh, really uh, really know. I think I think it's it's always the problem with with paintings. When you go to an exhibition like this, you see paintings, but there's no explanations. I think it's more in the moods. That's what people realized, and that's what they really appreciated as well. When when uh, when the artisan could say a few words about them and uh, what he had in mind when he was um, what he was painting, maybe it would be easier for the people when they, when they see them to actually oh yeah that's what he meant that's that's what that's what behind I think that would be uh, that would be much easier. It's, it's great to see so many people come. That's that's fantastic, but it's it's really nerve wracking for me to be perfectly honest. It's. Um, it's a hard thing to do, to put, yeah, as I said before. Mm -hmm. This is a professional interview. <laughs> I'll have some coach to re rebalance. Uh... <laughs>